Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to finally give my review of Melio now that he's been out for a couple of days and give you guys generally what my thoughts on the newest champion are. And while I think Melio impressed me a lot more than I was anticipating, I was very cold on the champion up until I actually had an opportunity to play with him and as him, and then I sort of kind of understood what the champion was all about and got to know him a little bit better and kind of like some of the things that Melio has going on, but I still generally feel like Melio is falling into the unfortunate hole of very boring to play, but very numerically strong, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but right now I want to start with the pros of Melio's kit. First up, his passive is great. Fired up deals so much damage. It's kind of insane. I know the percentage has been nerfed. It actually got hot fixed uh, after day one, Emilio being live. But even looking at the percentage on PvE, I was kind of like, that seems really high. But, you know, we'll have to play with it to see how busted it actually is. It's phenomenal, folks. I can confirm. Fired Up does a ton of damage, and it sort of makes sense. The only offensive ability Melio has is Ultra Mega Fire Kick. Outside of that, he has no way of actually damaging enemy champions, so it makes sense that his sort of uh, alternate ability to that deals damage to enemy champions is in his passive, and that applies it to allied champions who can then use it to really lay on the hurt on enemy champions. I think it's a phenomenally strong ability. It has a lot of synergy with some characters like uh, Jin or Lethality Varus because they're going to be building large amounts of attack damage, and therefore it just is a really, really strong ability overall and helps him with a lot of his early trading. Emilio's W is pretty strong. The healing over time is fine. It's not going to save you if you're getting dove by an assassin because it's a heal over time, not a big burst of healing like Soraka can give. Uh, but it is area of effect, so you can apply it to your entire team. The range extension also feels quite strong. If you consider uh, League of Legends players are tend to be more sensitive to range changes than anything else. We all tend to have sort of a subconscious map of what an enemy champion's threat range looks like and can therefore avoid it, which you kind of can't do then when that range is changed, right? There's a reason Blitzcrank's win rate skyrocketed after they got a very small extension on the Q range, and it's because players kept thinking, I'm safe from Blitzcrank hook at this range, and no, you're not, because that range is now different. And as a result, I feel like this ability is going to have a lot of that sort of gameplay that you think you're safe, and then Melio presses W, and then the Caitlyn with a Storm Razor auto-attacks you for the slow, and then you're dead, right? And there's nothing you can do about that. Or the Jin gets the W, he auto-attacks you once into a W root, and then you're dead, right? You're going to get sucker punched by a lot of things, and so I think it's going to be very strong. That said, I think we're still as a community figuring out how best to break it, but it, it does feel like the kind of ability that could be quite good in the long run. It also, and I think more importantly, applies Fired Up three times across everyone in the area of effect, which is phenomenally strong. As a result, I think it's like Melio's best starting ability. You put one point in W right at level one, and at level one, when you go for a trade, you pop W, you and your AD carry both stand in the area of effect. Not only are you both applying Fired Up three times, but you have the heal, you have the range extension to help bully enemy champions. Like, that's a very, very powerful combo, and it, it makes the ability a very potent cooldown for Melio indeed. Melio's Q is also, uh, there's a lot more gameplay to it than I was expecting. I really thought Ultra Mega Fire Kick looked very bare bones, basic, and boring, but as it turns out, I think that there's a lot that it does that makes it a little interesting. I like the idea that you can knock minions out of the way of skill shots, you can knock minions into enemies because the knockback range is significantly higher on minions, so you can kick a minion in order to get the splash damage on an enemy champion at a range, and it has very good peel against melee supports like Alistair or Taric. They start walking up, or maybe Alistair, in Alistair's case, is already in the headbutt animation. As long as you're coughing up Q before he lands, you can boop him out of his, uh, out of his headbutt. Uh, Tarek, same deal, he's walking up prepping E, kick it backwards with the Q. There are a lot of things that I think it does very well, and there is some sort of fun gameplay behind it, which I do quite like. And the cons. First, Melio's ultimate doesn't have much of a high moment to it. We're all used to a champion's ultimate being sort of their defining factor and being one of the most satisfying buttons for them to press, but Melio's ult doesn't really have that. There is, of course, the magical Christmas land uh, territory where uh, he cleanses a four-man Amumu ultimate or something, uh, which allows you to then, you know, turn the team fight and win it. But generally speaking, I feel like what you're going to be using this for is cleansing like one or two champions with this ability who have maybe both gotten hit by a uh, Lilia ability and she's trying to put you to sleep. Or you take a Morgana Q and the enemy team gears up to try and pounce on the snared champion and you press R and nothing happens after that, right? Because you just cleanse that ability and everyone goes back to doing what they were doing. And as a result, I feel like it's kind of boring, but cleanse effects 
are that sort of boring but powerful mechanic. They are very strong because they do allow you to have a get-out-of-jail-free card against a lot of targeted crowd control, but it also means that nothing happens, right? It's very good. Cleanses are very good at stopping a play from happening, but they can't really make a play happen, and as a result, they are still very strong, but they're not very satisfying to use, and as, as this is Melee's ultimate, it feels pretty bad. The other issue with it, of course, is a lot of uh, area of effect initiation abilities are displacements, right? They're knockups, they're knockbacks. They they don't really they aren't really all stuns nowadays. If you consider something like an Orn R or a Malphite R or a Vi dashing through your team or Wukong from stealth dashing in an Ring, right? Those are all knockups. You can't cleanse any of that. So while it's useful maybe for the AoE heal, the heal is naturally a lot weaker because it has to compensate for the fact that sometimes you'll be removing an Amumu ultimate or a Sejuani ultimate from your friends. And generally speaking, therefore, I feel like it's a strong ability, right? Don't get me wrong, but it's not very satisfying to use. And I also think it hurts Melio's sort of normal use case scenario, right? He's an enchanter, and enchanters are typically known as their ability to protect their allies, right? Someone dives on top of the AD carry, Soraka Ws them, Rs them, lays a silence field down on their feet so the enemy champion can't cast any spells, right? That's kind of a play she's known for making. An enemy dives on top of the AD carry, and Janna shields them, uses a tornado to knock the enemy out of their dash, uses an ultimate to reset the team fight, the, right, these champions sort of have like a defensive burst, I want to say, where they throw all their cooldowns on just keeping someone alive. Melio can't really do that. He has a lackluster heal on his R, he has a lackluster shield on his E, his E is like a perfectly serviceable ability, it's not exciting, but it's like there, it's a workhorse, it does what you need it to do, which again doesn't help Melio feel particularly exciting to play, it's just like a bare bones ability there. But you throw the E on, which maybe you have two charges of, which is a, a decent shield, and then you have the heal over time from the W, which as established isn't going to help you if you're getting dove, because you won't be alive long enough to benefit from all of the heal, right? You'll only get to benefit from the half second to second of heal that you have an opportunity to get before you're dead. And as a result, Melio's ability to say, thou shalt not kill my AD carry, is extremely low for an enchanter. And it's because all of his abilities, all of his enchanter-based abilities, the healing and um, most of the healing and the shielding are counterbalanced by the other aspects of his kit, applying fire up, the range extension, and the cleanse. And as a result, I feel like the 90% use case of Melio, which is going to be a traditional enchanter, isn't going to feel as good as just playing another enchanter. And that the few times where you are happy that you played Melio, it's going to be you cleansed a Morgana binding and uh, the AD carry walked away and the enemy team walked away and nothing happened. Strong, but not very exciting to play as. And as a result, I feel like Melio therefore lacks, like, the big pop-off play that he's able to make outside of the Magical Christmas Land scenario, right? Yeah, it's numerically powerful that you removed the Thresh hook before the Thresh could rope in on your AD carry and CC them further, but that doesn't mean that it's satisfying for the Melio to use, right? Any support can do that if they buy a Mikhail's Chalice. Right? It just makes Melio feel like a not very interesting or exciting champion. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Melio is exceptionally strong, especially in the hands of professional players who will be very powerful at making use of not only the cleanse, but also the range extension. I also think Melio has a lot of applications in a poke composition where you're playing things like Lethality, Varus, and Xerath because Melio has a very powerful... Uh, peeling tool in his Q. He has the ability to rescue his friends from an initiation with his ultimate. He can apply his W to basically the whole team, giving them a range extension to poke away at enemy champions under their tower, or to maybe harass the tower itself um, out from under them. It also means that any damage you land on enemy champions while the W is active is going to apply fire up for even more damage. So even though Xerath doesn't have any AD to speak of and isn't going to auto attack, he still gets the bonus damage from fired up on his Qs that he lands, which is nice. Right, so like Melio, I think, has places he's going to be very strong. I think he has a niche as a support, and I think that a, the pro players will break him. I think there's no way that the range extension won't be broken in some context, or that the cleanse isn't exceptionally powerful for a champion to have as an ability, right? So in general, I think Melio is strong, I just don't think he's a very interesting or fun champion to play. He's just kind of there doing his thing. I, I think I had more fun playing with Emilio than against Emilio, right? Because, or then uh, as the Emilio, because at least when I played as, or uh, with the Emilio, I get to benefit from Fired Up way more than the Emilio himself does. And so in general, I just feel like he's, he's distinctly fine. I think he's very, um, 
like, like I said, he's fine. He's not offensive or anything. I feel like Riot uh, really sort of reined in some of his power to compensate for the fact that he has a lot of uh, interesting utility-based tools that are hard to quantify, but it doesn't mean he's an exciting champion for me to play, but you guys love to know what you think of him down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you actually really like this champion. If you think there are things about Melio I'm either undervaluing or not acknowledging, let me know all that down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and leave it a like, and if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later.